<clears throat> there are a couple things that really come to mind. Um, so when I was a sophomore in high school, um, I went through a really like dark part of my life, and I definitely alienated, alienated myself from like all the people that were my friends, and um, I really focused on like my internal self and circumstances and on getting out of that dark place in a very internal way. My faith was always kind of a factor, but I was like, I have coping mechanisms and like I don't really need anyone or anything or whatever. Um, and then a bunch of really hard things happened, like uh, my uncle, who was my closest uh, uncle, passed away super unexpectedly. And then my parents split up. Um, my dad left our family, which was like kind of unexpected and really shocking and I was like well I've already figured out how to deal with hard things so I'm just gonna keep pushing on and and then I came back to St. Joe over the summer <clears throat> and I had like a really rough summer um, I was super I was super angry all the time um, and bitter too and just like a very tense person and the people around me definitely noticed um, and I could really feel that I was becoming this bitter, angry person all the time. And I, but I thought from my past experiences, well, I can just deal with it. I don't need to ex externally process this. I can do it all myself. Um, and I realized that I really couldn't because I was just mad all the time. <laughs> and I think what finally pushed me to do something about it was, um, I got so, so scared that that was who I was destined to be. Like, I felt like, I thought, well, I used to be happy when I was like in middle school, so, but this just must be how I'm going to be as an adult, is like an angry person, like really dealing with this stuff inside me, like constantly. And I was so scared of that, that I finally reached out to people and um, some really important mentors in my life made me realize that like you're not like we're not defined by um, things that we deal with or um, like at our core like who I, like who I really am isn't being an angry person like who I really am is a child of God and I might um, deal with anger a little more than other people that might be a, a battle or a demon for me that's a little more prevalent in my life, but that doesn't mean that I'm gonna be a better person because that's not who I am. And so I think that um, number one, like God really broke me free of just being angry all the time because I realized that wasn't my story, that wasn't who I was. And so I was really broken free of that. Um, that was a relief because I had been so terrified that's who I was gonna be. And then two, I think that he really, um, the Lord really worked on me to make me realize that I need other people and um, other Christians in my life who are really pouring into me and investing in me and challenging me. And so that in that story, um, in my story of kind of walking through that angry, a dark time, then an angry time, kind of coming out of that, um, a huge thing that, I mean, to me really like the community around me was was really like a lot of times where I saw Christ um, in kind of that relentless, like not any hu like huge, like people weren't in my face about like how I was acting or whatever, but people were just very like steadfast and like being my friend and standing by me. And I, th and a lot of that community was, was people from Wellspring to ask him to like come in and, and break chains in our lives and set us free from hard stuff. And um, for me, you know, I talked about the, the, the kind of story of my anger because that was the first time I think that I really, um, I really asked God to like take something off my heart and I think I, I did that a little bit out of des. I mean I was desperate and so I definitely, um, it wasn't like I was keeping up some like perfect relationship and then he just like was there working through, I mean, he was there working through it all, but I, w I wasn't constantly leaning on him through it, but finally I was like, you know, I have to do something. And so part of that for me was reaching out to others, but definitely was was really asking God and um, like just coming before him and being like, I, 
take this because I can't do this and I don't want to be this person and and he and he did.